Hi there, my name is Cesar, I'm from Brazil. Well, I, I had just three, 30 days to learn MATLAB and learn how to build an application that have a wireless sensor network using ACO to improve the energy efficiency to extend the lifetime of our network. Well, this code here will be available for free to use. The objective of doing it is to help you to make your research or everything you want, okay? I will try to explain this code here very quickly. See here, you have the parameter to define how many nodes you want here, the position of two nodes that is fixed because one is transmitting the data to another node using the nodes between them. The node position are randomly defined, randomly defined, okay? And this is a one kilometer by one kilometer area. And then you can define here the range of the nodes because as you know, a wireless network sensor has a range of its signal, okay? And it just, how can I say, can connect to one another if it's inside the range of the node, okay? And here then you can define the range of each node. Here is the minimum energy and the maximum energy in units, whatever units it is, minivats, minivolts, you decide. Here you can define the minimum and the maximum energy. It is handily defined for each node, okay? Here you have the energy consumption per cycle, cycle of holding. I mean, every time a node forwards a packet or a data, it will consume this amount of energy. In this scenario, every node has a little gain that recover its energy, okay? But the recovery energy is always low than the amount of energy it, how can I say, consume every cycle of halting, okay, of forwarding of packets. Well, as soon you run this code here, it will build a scenario and then we'll check the range of all nodes to make a connection, okay? Sometimes, of course, because of the number of nodes and the range of its signal, you don't have, <coughs> you don't have a path, you don't have any path available from, from the sender to the receiver, okay? And then you just run again, or then, if you want, you just change the number of nodes, okay? It's up to you. Well, why we run here, it will build a, a scenario. Here it is, okay? And then it starts to send data
it's consuming energy right now and then you have here that the dead, no, dead node is number five and then the node died here and as soon it has it haven't I mean any available path it starts uh, the same network with ACO usage here and as you see here it starts changing the road by itself okay I'll pause here just to explain you exceptionally in this scenario here you have just one point here of course there will not have a high difference between a no ACO scenario to an ACO scenario because of it here it will just work perfectly when you have two very different at least I mean at least two different paths between receiver, receiver and the transmitter okay well it is just a little explanation it's free for you uh, sorry about the code I know it's not well built because I have just 30 days to learn MATLAB I never heard before MATLAB never seen it before and I had just 30 days to learn it and to make it work okay well thank you for your attention I I hope I I'm helping you and well very successful in your research bye